Okay, the ego center or the heart center or the willpower center. <laughs> this one has a lot of names. It's all about worth, our self-worth, our self-value, improvement, empowerment, and confidence. There's a lot of depth inside of this tiny little center. About 65% of people have this undefined, actually. So that means 65% of people are walking around really confused about their own worth and acting out of shadow of that, acting out of not self of that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this one can be really beautiful because you are more open-hearted and you are gaining experience of navigating self-worth and navigating your, your sense of self, your sense of value and confidence in this world. So, um, again, with this undefined, life is drawing you in through this center, through this idea of value and worth and willpower. Um, and you are taking in the information from that environment. So let things flow through you that aren't meant for you. Use your strategy and authority to pan for that gold and let that gold nugget come through. I myself have an undefined heart with just one gate lit up in this. And so the idea of my self-worth and my self-value and leaning into that and trusting it has been a huge process. <laughs> it's been a lot. So I can very much speak to the not self of this center. But now that I'm leaning more into the healthy expression of it and understanding the power in it, it's pretty beautiful. And so again, remember with this undefined, you're getting all that information from the environment. And so then you're able to gain so much wisdom. All those little gold nuggets that come through is just wisdom for you to share with other people about self-worth and value and empowerment. And it's great. So one thing for undefined hearts to understand is that you are not here to prove anything to anybody. That is not your purpose here in this incarnation with that undefined, for sure. Um, because you don't, you don't essentially have the consistent access to that willpower to make things happen. So don't make promises that you can't keep. Go back to your strategy and authority before you make a promise, before you sign up for something to understand if it is correct for you. Go back to your strategy and authority for everything. The shadow side of this one, for sure, if you find yourself wondering what I'm worth or if I'm even valuable, that's a shadow side. Also, a huge, huge key here to know if you are acting out of the not self of this is if you are doing things just to prove your worth. If you think that you have to do x y and z so that somebody will love you and to see that you're valuable so that your boss will acknowledge you or boyfriend or whoever if you're just doing it to prove your value inside of the relationship you are inside of the not self of this center and so ask yourself do i think i have something to prove because again with this undefined you have nothing nothing to prove at all and you yeah, again, you are the physical embodiment of love. So you doing a bunch of stuff to prove your worth is just blocking you from your natural expression of love. So release it. <laughs> Don't you love that? This is your advice. Just let it go. <laughs> but in, a re in reality, uh, hop on Marco Polo if you feel like you need help working through this one or understanding it, you know, also hop on Marco Polo if any aha moments came up for you on this one, because this can be a big one to navigate. It's such a tiny center. There's so much depth in it, for sure. And if you do find that you are doing things just to prove your worth, then it's time to stop those things. Go back to your strategy and authority and understand what is correct for you and what's not. Are you even in a correct relationship with this person that you're trying to prove your worth to? If it's still a correct relationship, you're just acting in, in, in an unaligned way, then great, let's switch it. If you realize that all you do in this relationship is prove your worth and you keep chasing this theoretical carrot, then maybe this isn't the correct relationship for you. You don't need to consistently show up and do things just to prove your worth. You are worthy because you are here. You are human in this life and you have gifts and talents and wisdom to share with the world. You don't need to go out and prove it to anybody. Those who need you and value you and honor you will come to you. I get passionate about this one, apparently. 
So each gate in this one highlights what's most rewarding to you and what kind of helps you um, navigate this world. It's pretty cool. So again, hop on Marco Polo if you need any help processing any of this or if any aha moments came up because I love hearing them. And then let's move down to the sacral center, which is the first square under the identity or the second square up from the bottom.